Uh, two of the big stories that are happening right now. This first one, you can see the flames. This is in Frederick County, Maryland. Sky Fox live over a multi alarm building fire. This is right near Route 550 on Old Camp Airy Road. And this is a fire at a camp at Camp Airy, apparently in the dining hall, is where it started about 7 30 this morning. But people have been telling us they can see the smoke from miles and miles away. And so, no word on exactly what caused it, but again, believed to be in the dining hall is where it started. Fortunately, uh, even though it is a camp that is still used and in many cases is a youth camp, nobody was there at the time, inside at least. So, there are no reported injuries. About 100 firefighters are there. We showed earlier you could see some of the uh, fire apparatus that was there. Uh, I want to get up to Sarah Campbell right now with Frederick County Fire, find out a little bit more about this because we understand the response has been quite overwhelming. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. What can you tell us about what happened? Uh, so initial calls came in around 734 this morning to the Emergency Communications Center um, with reports of a building fire at Camp Airy. Um, so units arrived on scene, found smoke showing through the eaves and the roof um, and initiated a rapid intervention dispatch. Uh, the fire quickly spread, so they struck a second alarm. So you have about 100 personnel um, from units in Maryland and PA that are currently battling um, this dining hall fire. We had reported earlier that there were no injuries. Is that still the case? And was it being used as a camp at the time? Or was there actually a camp session going on? So there is camp sessions going on, and there are um, juveniles and, and children on, on location here at Camp Airy, but the dining hall itself was not in use. Um, it is not in the location uh, right now where any kids are, are in the area of it. So there is still currently and hopefully remains no injuries to anyone on the scene. Yeah, which is the best news you could ask for in a situation like this. We're keeping an eye on the videos from Sky Fox right now showing us the aerials, and it looks like the fire is spreading a bit. Are there multiple buildings now involved, or is that all part of one giant hall? Correct. So that is all part of one hall, um, and I don't know the makeup and the composition of the dining hall. It looks to be maybe it was built onto at some point, but it is all the main building of the dining hall, and it has not spread at this time to any other buildings. Okay, more good news there. Uh, we mentioned all the personnel who have been there since uh, getting that call about 7.30 this morning, just about 90 minutes ago. Um, it looks like at this point the flames continue to spread. We have seen some occasional water that is being put on it, but at this point, is it a, uh, a plan to essentially let this burn itself out? Uh, so at this point, your main, your main course of action is obviously to protect your exposures, which means your adjoining buildings or nearby buildings and stuff like that. Um, and to kind of keep it contained to the to the uh, building of or origination. Um, so yeah, it's, right now we're just trying to gain control of the fire, protect those exposures, um, to hopefully keep that from from spreading. Um, but but residents and visitors and people traveling in in the Thurmont Emmitsburg Route 15 area will probably see some dark smoke um, for quite some time. Yeah, no doubt. It's such a busy area, too, for folks to go through. Uh, you know, real quick, Sarah, when you talk about the response to something like this, it's always a challenge. But when you get a camp situation, obviously you're talking about a more rural area. Uh, is there water there or are you bringing tankers in to try to uh, contain the other structures? So a little bit of everything. We're definitely um, we have some water supply issues that we're working through. There was a pool on site. There's a pond on site. We are tankering um, water from multiple different units. Um, up the hill. It is pretty far back into the camp off Camp Airy Road, um, and it is uphill. So those are always issues that you run into. Okay, and any idea at this point if the, the, uh, the youth campers, were they just moved to another part of the camp then? Yeah, so they're definitely put off to the side where, where they're not in, in harm's way kind of thing. Um, and I don't know where they were originally located. It was pretty early in the morning, so I'm not sure if they were in dormitory buildings and stuff like that but we're just keeping them away from the active scene at this point. Okay, well, the best news is no injuries at this point, although you can see the fire causing quite a bit of structural damage there at Camp Airy. Sarah Campbell was with Frederick County Fire. I appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Sure, thank you. You're welcome. It's 9.05. Now,